All right, truth be told, if we're gonna count it as a machine, the Smith machine is the best machine to use for leg training at Planet Fitness. At the same time, a broken Smith machine, that's the worst one to use. So we're gonna have to find something else. So stand by for the list, it's coming up next. everybody this is Kaishin with the 45 fitness and strength channel if you are a subscriber or returning viewer welcome back and thanks for watching if this is your first time on my channel welcome and thank you for watching as well and I hope by the end of the video you'll join the uh, growing number of subscribers small but growing I appreciate all of you who've uh, come on board especially as a result of the series that I did about powerlifting at Planet Fitness and, and specifically the squat, the bench, and the deadlift videos, how to perform them on Smith machines uh, at Planet Fitness. What I'm going into uh, in this video, and I believe the next will be my take from a power lifter's perspective on the best and worst leg training um, machines other than the Smith machine that you'll find in a Planet Fitness. From a power lifting perspective, these machines and exercises would be considered assistance exercises for the squat and probably also for the deadlift as well. If you're using these machines or training uh, for another purpose, bodybuilding, general fitness, fat loss, um, just muscle building, whatever, uh, these are machines that I believe you'll find to be the most effective and efficient they're effective in that they hit the intended target muscles and they're efficient in that by using these particular machines, you will save time in the gym. Whether you're at Planet Fitness or any other gym, time is a commodity that all of us are in short supply on. But it seems that most people who are going to a place like Planet Fitness really don't want to spend a whole lot of time in the gym. So rather than, um, you know, using a whole bunch of machines to accomplish what could be done in a smaller number of machines, I hope this will uh, will point you in the right direction on how to get the most bang for your buck, so to speak, out of the time that you spend in the gym. So I'm in the parking lot now. Let's go in the gym. My wife, Kimberly, uh, is going to be doing the demonstration for most of the lifts, maybe even all the lifts that you're going to see in this video. So let's go on in there and get started with the best leg training machines in Planet Fitness. All the way? Yeah. Unless you're exceptionally short, that's gonna be the best position for just about everybody. So feet low. Yeah, that's good. The most common mistake I see people making on this machine are performing the lift with too short of a range of motion. And the best way to fix that or avoid that is to lay the seat back as far as possible. Again, for most people, uh, put your feet as low as you can on the platform and put them just outside your shoulders so that your knees won't crush your chest on the negative uh, portion of the, of the lift. Keep your lower back pinned to the seat uh, to keep your back from rounding. You'll be doing a safe leg press and getting maximum work uh, out of your quads. You'll also hit the glutes and stress the hamstrings, controlling the negative. Because I would, all right, go ahead. To me, you set them when your knees are slight. You set the foot pad so that your knees can be just off the pad. Just, yeah, like that. There are two primary ways to work the hamstrings. Uh, one is by hinging at the hips, which they really don't have any machines for, at least not at Planet Fitness. 
and also by bending at the knee. And this uh, prone leg curl is the best version of that uh, hamstring exercise at which you bend in the knee. You can adjust the position of the pad that goes over your ankles uh, depending on how short or tall you are. The leg extension gets a lot of hate um, for some good reason. Some people like to use this as a primary movement. I would not uh, suggest this as a replacement for a compound movement like a squat or even a leg press. But in truth, as long as you do it safely, controlling the movements, uh, and you just want to use it to further isolate the quads uh, and get some extra quad work in or as a warm-up, something like that, there's nothing wrong with it. Apparently there are different versions or models of these glute extension machines at different Planet Fitness. If you're going to use one, this is the one to use. Uh, notice how the arm of this thing, or I guess it's the leg since it's a glute machine, um, does not really allow you to extend at the knee. All the movement is at the hip. There are other models in other gyms where that your foot is basically kicking back and you're getting a lot of quad activation uh, sometimes even more quad activation than glute activation that kind of defeats the, the point of a glute isolation machine when I get back to my normal planet fitness I'll see if I can get some footage of the model that I'm suggesting you avoid um, so you can see the difference between the two but this one's okay See how short that range is? Yeah. That's why it's not, to me, it's not very good for a leg press. But for a calf press, I think it's actually very good. See that stretch you can get at the bottom? All right, folks, we're going to wrap up this video now. Please leave me a comment and let me know what you think about the video, about the, the machines that I picked, whether or not you would pick them as the best machines or if there's a machine that you think I missed that should be on this list. Let me know what it is. Let me know why. Um, if it lands on my worst machine list, <laughs> I hope you'll stay tuned for that one and uh, let me know what you think about that. But also just keep in mind, uh, that there is some variance, not a lot, but there is some variance in Planet Fitness locations. So uh, I wasn't going to every single Planet Fitness uh, in the Baltimore metro area just to see who has what. But out of the ones I've been to, they pretty much all have the same thing. So this video should cover you no matter where you are. With that, uh, if you've made it to this point, I want to thank you so much for the time that you've put into watching this video. Please do all the standard YouTube things. Click the thumbs up. Give the video a like. I'd greatly appreciate it if you would. I'd also love to have you as a subscriber. So please click the subscribe button. And also please click the notification bell so that you can be notified. Such a clever name uh, for that bell. You can be notified when new videos come out. Uh, again, thank you very much for your time. I look forward to seeing you all on the next video when, God willing, we will cover the other end of the spectrum, the worst leg training machines, what you should avoid uh, in Planet Fitness as far as training the lower half of your body. I'll see you then. Peace.